everyone welcome back to the channel i am back with very interesting problem today this was asked in a jepto interview for a product analyst role now this problem you would have seen before where you have a number right 1 2 3 4 5 and you need to repeat that number that many number of times so if one is there to say so there is one in the output if two is there then two times two in the output if three is there then three times three in the output likewise right but the main thing is please note that we cannot use recursive ct so we need to solve this question without recursive ct right although most of the platforms support recursive ct but but let's solve this without recursive ct right this is very this video is going to be very interesting we will solve this in a multiple ways there will be some shortcomings from some solution so a very in depth video it is going to have so please watch it till a, till the end to to understand few very important things okay so let's solve this problem we have these numbers 1 2 3 4 5 5 for the sake of solving it let's solve it with recursive ct first then we will see how we can solve it without recursive ct right because it is important to understand how recursive ct is solving it so we have this select star from numbers what i am going to do is i am say we ct as and i'm going to create a recursive ct right so this is my n right so let me say n comma and i will start a counter with one as num counter something right i can so i'm just starting a counter so that i select i loop this as many number of times as this counter right so i'll say union all right now this time i'll say with from ct and i will take n as it is because the same number we have to repeat multiple times so we don't have to do any changes in this so n will be coming again and again but here i will say num counter plus 1 right this counter i will keep on increasing by 1 by 1 and then i will say where num counter plus 1 right should be less than or equal to n right this number should be less than equal to n if it is 1 then i will stop whenever this is more than 1 right if it is 2 number is 2 then i will run the loop two times if you don't understand recursive ct i have a separate video you can check that out i will add it in the description box but this is how you have to solve it using recursive ct so i'll say select star from ct right and let's call it order by n right i'll just explain it again how this recursive ct is working okay so if you see one is one time two is two times three is three times four is four times and five is five times total 15 rows we have let's understand how it is working quickly so this is my anchor element in the recursive ct so it will pick one right so for each row it will run separately right so when we have one right for one what it will do it will give one comma one right now this statement will run it will check what is the value of num counter plus one so num counter was one plus one two two is less than or equal to n no two is greater than so it will stop there as it is now comes the terms of two right chance of two so for two two comma one it will give again right the anchor element for two two comma one now it will check if 1 plus 1 2 is less than equal to 2 yes then again it will give 2 2 and then on the th third iteration it will fail right so this is how it is working i hope you understand it now let's go ahead and solve it without recursive ct okay so i'll just do a select star again and by the way you can just select n you don't need the second column so just select n order by n and you will get the output right now let's solve it without recursive ct okay and this is going to be very interesting so we have this number from 1 2 3 4 5 now one interesting thing is here these are all consecutive numbers starting from 1 right there is no gap okay this makes life easy i will tell you how so what i am going to do i am going to do a self join or let's say cross join right cross join means without a join condition i will i will run 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 the self join which means let me just run both the both through two carries so what will happen when i join two tables without a join condition 
every row will join with every other row so this one will join with all the five rows two will join with again all the five rows three will join with all the five rows right so there will be 5 into 5 25 rows right so let me do that so i will say select a star from numbers let's call it n1 and then i will do a join so let me do a inner join n2 on 1 equal to 1 1 equal to 1 means no 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 join basically it is kind of cross join right because i have to give some condition here so i am using this you can even say cross join and don't give any condition that also works right so let me run this so i will say give me first from n1 n1 dot n comma n2 dot n right and i will use the same thing in the order by order by this right so if i run this now so if you see one is joined with the n2 table five times right again two joined with the n2 table five times so each number is five times now what i can do simply i can say that this right this should be greater than or equal to this right then only one will come right similarly if i say this number should be greater than or equal to this so this will come and this will come these will not come right so i am taking advantage of these numbers these are consecutive numbers so if i put that condition my output will be there so i will say n1 dot n greater than or equal to n2 dot n right greater than or equal to okay so if i just run it again if you see one is one times two is two times three is three times right but there is still one more problem with this approach the problem with this approach is if i have a number which i skip it so for example let's insert one more number in this table so i will say let's say 9 right so how many rows should be there 15 were coming from five numbers and from nine more rows should should more come for nine so 24 rows should come right so if i run this solution it will work fine it will give us 24 rows absolutely right so if you see that 24 rows and 9 is 9 times right now let me run this with this approach now if you see 21 rows only right there are only 21 rows 9 is only how many times six times and this is because we have six rows only in the tables right to generate nine rows with this approach i should have at least nine rows in the table right the cross join what we are doing is basically replicating one number into multiple numbers and then we are restricting based on the condition but here we have only the six rows in the table right so if i just have to do it again select the star from numbers and select the star from numbers right now i have only six rows so this approach is not going to work i am not getting nine rows for nine right i am not getting nine rows for nine because because there are only six rows so even if i do cross join i will get maximum six rows right and that's the problem how to solve it right so there are two ways to solve it one is we can do a hybrid approach of we can do a hybrid approach of recursive ct and join so what we can do we can pick the maximum number from this table and generate that many rows of a table using recursive ct so let me do it so what i will do i'll say select a star from numbers and instead of this i will say max number max of n as n right so this will give me 9 basically what i want from 1 to 9 i have a i have a, i should have a table which has number from 1 to 9 right so i'll say with ct as this union all select select now n plus 1 right whatever this n sorry n plus 1 right i should say not not n plus 1 n minus 1 so we already have 9 so i will say n minus 1 right from ct right where n minus 1 should be greater than or equal to 1 right if it is 0 then i don't want that it should stop at 1 okay so if i say select star from ct and if i just run this 
you see i have number from 1 to 9 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so in a way i generated a table which has numbers from 1 to 9 now what i will do i will just exactly use this query right i will copy this and paste it right the only change i am going to make instead of this numbers table i am going to use cd table and the structure is same i have the and there as well right so if i run this again if you see there are 24 rows right now we will solve one more way just just wait right so if you see there are 24 rows so this is one approach right i can use make use of recursive ct plus this join and this will give me the required answer there's one more way we can solve it basically what we ultimately need is whatever is the maximum number in our case it is 9 right so i need a table which has numbers starting with 1 till 9 right that is all i need if i have that i can do a cross join and put a condition right what i will do i can use any table in my database the only condition is the number of rows should be greater than or equal to 9 in that table right so whatever is your maximum number more than that rows should be there in your in that table it can be any table so let's let's use a sys table sys dot you have a all columns table right definitely it will have lot of number of rows right so what i will do i'll just say row underscore number okay over order by you can do order by or anything we just need a running number so let me let me use name right as n so this is my running number right so if i just uh, if i just run this and go to the last you will see this is one two three four right or i can just say null select null you can do that as well it doesn't matter i just need a number from one to nine or whatever is the maximum number right so this will also give me in the same order right it will take less less execution time once i have this right i can use this as a ct with cte as this select star from cte where this n less than or equal to select max n from numbers right what it will do if the number whatever is maximum that many row it will give me right so if i just run this it will give me nine rows and i just need this i don't need anything and so i'll just remove everything and you see we got number from one to nine now again the same thing i'll just copy this as it is right this i copied and instead of i am already using ct right and let's put order by in the end right and this n is coming from n2 n2 is my ct right that's it so if i just again run this it will give me the same result again right from 1 till 9 9 times 24 rows right so there are different ways of solving this problem in reality if you are giving an interview then obviously you can give answers uh, based on recursive ct if they are saying without recursive ct then you can give this based on what data they are providing right if the data has gaps like this you have after five nine or let's say it is starting from two right then again you will have a problem so based on that you can tell your answer i hope you like the video please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching have a good day